Hello, everyone. Uh, today's match is requ was uh, requested by Reno, actually. It is going to be Dole's uh, 1000 Swords versus True Light's 1000 Swords. I believe it's 1000. Anyways, um, starting off with Dole's team, we have you know, his units are probably named 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So here's 1, the Samurai, 2, the Paladin, 3, the Ninja, and 4, the Ninja. So, uh, these two are probably the, bi the big offense. I mean, um, the Paladin can also contribute as well. Um, obviously the Ninja Edge, Hidden Knife, Attack Up, Kage Soge combo, very nice and deadly. I think, I'm guessing you actually want Ninja Knife, since that's the one that adds, um, adds PA. But, small oversight, just a small oversight. And then, you know, Dual Scorp Tails, uh, pretty nice for the... Because since the damage is based on weapon power, an item for support, a um, couple of breaks, I believe. Um, Samurai, the dual Murasami is pretty interesting. Um, that's her main form of. I mean, it's, she's essentially just like pure pure support. Um, got the two the two Murasamis to heal. Um, has raise. I believe white magic's raise region is soon. That's pretty interesting because that's what uh, True Light's uh, ninja. White Magic Ninja has as well. I'm really curious to see if Meat Bone Slash will like ignore Murasami's like healing and so she'll actually just do like full on damage. That'll be fun to see. Meat Bone Slash is always fun to see, honestly. And speaking of Meat Bone Slash, um, I made a comment on this on the forum, but um, if the Paladin gets two uh, Blade Beam procs off of Meat Bone Slash, assuming that works, then he's going to do about 1,400 damage. Of course, everyone, everyone will be long dead by then, but would be fun. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, oh, Yin Yang Magic from the Paladin will actually be uh, probably decently relevant. I mean, notably for Blind, seeing how everyone on uh, True Light's team is has melee based offense. All right, on to True Light's team of Natsu the ni the Ninja, Gray the Ninja, more or less a clone, just swap secondaries. Happy the Ninja. And Urza the ninja. So yeah, as I mentioned, um, this ninja also, for white magic, knows Raze, Regen, and Asuna, which is decently interesting. Um, I mean, Raze and Asuna are obviously good. Regen, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of Regen, uh, just because I don't think it does enough, honestly. But again, that's just me. Um, happy should be decently happy with auto potion defense up to times, and he'll be staying around for a long time. And Thief Hat as well. Um, you know, Scorp Tails, again, solid damage. And then, yeah, these guys, they've got the Hidden Knife, Ninja Knife, um, set up, Attack Up, Kage Soge, etc. Right, just excellent damage. And I've been on Bandon, decently slippery, so these two might actually just, like, stay alive a good bit. And wreak havoc on Dole's team. Just see how it plays out. Um, I was slightly concerned that the Ninja might zoom ahead, Courtesy of the two platinum daggers, she does have six move, but again, that's actually probably good because this lets her really kill people off with the Klim Hazard proc from the platinum daggers. And I mean, these guys have five move anyway, so you know, very mobile, um, pretty solid offense. I do think, I do feel like True Light has the edge here because of um, the Elf Mantle and Abandon, and like this whole team is a bit more offensively offensively oriented. Uh, we shall see. I have not done this in a while, so once again I forget to do RNG to decide, determine the map beforehand. But let us go to... Um, slums and Daughter. We're doing it. I always kind of like the look of this map. Anyways, people are just moving to position. Um, is this happy? Yeah, it is happy. Um, again, I, I generally prefer one of the ele elemental absorb clothes over the brigandine, just because I feel that that 20 HP isn't nearly as um, consequential as like being able to absorb two elements. But again, that's just personal preference. Um, it might not actually always be good to absorb elements um, that your opponent has, and ooh, just like that, 
there goes a ninja. Uh, already things are not looking good for Joel, but it's very early. And there they go. And of course a band actually doesn't matter given at least to that ninja since he does have the hidden knife for pseudo concentrate. So I'm just silly. And ooh, crit shot doesn't really do much. Ray still goes off. <laughs> Samurai are going for her own rays. Again, solid damage just from Scorpion Tail. No need for attack up even. Now Gray ah oh, goes for the expert then. This lets Urza go for a stabby stabby. There's a claim hazard proc, and there he goes. Oh, if there wasn't, that could have been a Meat Bone Slash. That's a 65% chance of activating. And that would have been big damage. So I'm going for another race, and as she's in the corner, doesn't choose not to move. Now, the, what does Paladin Nurses. I'm not sure that'll be enough. The ninja, uh, Trilice Ninja can probably get through that. At least the ones that concentrate. And yeah, there goes a ninja. Again. So yeah, this definitely seems to be in True Light's favor. And Clint has a puck, and there it goes. So it's four on one now. <laughs> Dull in quite the rough spot. Um, that samurai is just stuck rezzing, but ninjas don't have great HP. She's going to get dropped down, no problem, just like that. And... This was quite the quick round for uh, for True Light. Should be a matter of time. A silence proc would oh a crit will do it. I was gonna say a silence proc would make things problematic, but a crit to kill does the job very fine. Close to max damage. Anyways, on let's let's go on to round two. All right, back for round two at map twelve. As you may recall, round one was very one-sided for True Light. Um, just start attacking and never let up, as his team was designed to do. I'm not, I, honestly the sub is kind of similar, I mean a bit less room to maneuver, but like, I don't see things changing much. Masamune being as strong as ever, yeah, no Masamune on, uh, oh never mind, there's Masamune on. Uh, Dole's team. That would have been very odd if he did not have Masamune, given that one of his units is a samurai. But everyone likes Masamune. There's a Kagesogi! Oh, oh Meat Bone Slash! Okay, okay, this, that was different. That's definitely different. Okay, Meat Bone Slash. So exciting, so fun. Oh god, this is so much damage. This could definitely play out differently, because probably True Life's in, uh, Dole's Ninja might go soon, and can probably drop the critical ninja or goes for ooh one of them was guarded goes in range of the region yeah that was not the best move by uh, Dole's ninja going to drop the uh, cr the one critical is definitely a better idea so very unfortunate for him there that is the AI for you and ooh, uh, Dole's ninja managed to dodge it this time uh, but there goes that ninja anyway now see again if the ninja had if a uh, well, wow. so many ninjas. If Dole's female ninja had opted to uh, drop the critical ninja on True Light's team, the one that just used Chakra, then it'd be two units down instead. But it might just go for. And nope, nope, still alive, still alive. Poison. No, the ninjas have Stig Magic and or Chakra to make sure he doesn't die to poison. In the meantime, the Paladin goes down again, but he did land a re raise on the female ninja before she went down. So we'll see how things go. Asuna, not gonna matter much since uh, Palin's dead, but there goes Dole, or True Lights, one of True Lights ninjas. So this is pretty tense, I'm not sure how this goes. Um, oh, but True Lights ninjas can one-hit KO uh, Dole's units, which is <laughs> really a big problem, but seeing as the ones that are getting dropped are the main damage dealers. And oh, Abandon, again, being very that evasion keeping uh, True Light's ninjas alive so they can do the dirty work this worked out really well. I mean that uh, that ninja survived like three or so shots and yeah I feel like True Light is going to take this this round as well and Happy's just going in there. But Meat Bone Slash? And it does? It does? Oh that was cool that's fun. Ah oh, Meat Bone Slash is so fun. <laughs> 
And that is good to know. Uh, it bypasses the whole Murasama healing thing. I mean, to be expected. Otherwise, why would you have me bone slash like that? But just good to know. Good to know. It's fun. So, now even with that, I, f I do feel like uh, Trillia is still in the lead. Yeah. I mean, back to 4 on 2. Murasame not going to heal enough. Uh, Trillia's just can drop her no problem. And so this is a matter of time. Like, she should be going down just like that. It's a 4 on 1 now. And even though that Paladin has Protect and Shell and Region, he is slow. He is at a mere 8. He might. I don't remember if he's at 8 or 9 speed. Chances are he's at 8 speed. And so he will eventually die. And also, de de defending, he doesn't have much evasion to begin with. And then, you know, hidden knife, doesn't care. Masamune to really make, make life difficult, make life extra difficult. This is already over as far as I'm concerned. But I don't see uh, Dole's team com uh, making comeback. There goes one. There goes. So one unit crystallizes, and there's dead. It's four and one again. Um. Any moment. Well, Raze, uh, again, not, not sure what Dole's team can do, honestly. I mean, even if that Raze gets off, will it even get off? Probably not. Indeed, it does not. Alright, True Light takes it. There we go. Thanks for watching.